This episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello, welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen, and this is your weekly dose of techno It's going to be kind of a shorter episode here. We're trying something new, we're trying to shoot live to tape because we're under kind of a time crunch, and also it has been insane here at the warehouse as we move in. Uh, Shannon will be back next week. We're very excited to have her back on, and we're still playing with all sorts of crazy stuff. But let's get into one of the questions that I had this week, which was, you know, I... I was looking at the US Census, and I love that you can now on your phone, like say, you know, okay, Google population of Kentucky and find out interesting stuff about that. Um, but you can't ask, so how many cats live in the San Francisco Bay Area? There's no answer to that. And it got me thinking, how could you find out? And we need a, we need a hotline. I, I feel like this is something we could crowdsource. We get a bunch of hackers together to all call every number that begins with 510 or 415 to, you know, Call and say, hey, how many cats do you have? Uh, the only problem with that is I feel like it would take a lot of resources, time, people. We might annoy some people. So then I was like, well, you know what? Okay, we could still do an approximation if, say, for instance, we did the same thing systematically with text messages, which led me to think, hey, there's probably a way to do that. Um, which is awesome because now I'm going to hack to learn how to do cool stuff in Python, except not. Okay, so this is where it gets cool, except it fails. So 2009, Darren is very excited about this. Check this out. It's up on GitHub and it is called Pi Google Voice. And this guy here is a basically Python front end API to the Google Voice you know, SMS service, which is fantastic. I use it all the time. I love it. I have one phone number that comes to all my phones. I use it to text and all of those things. So anyway, this is where it got really sad pants, which is if I come into the actual app now, you can see a uh, great little help thing. You know, you basically log into your Google account. If you're using Second Factor, you'll need to create a uh, special password for that. And we can make calls and we can, you know, send SMS and nothing works, of course, because in fact, Google changed their API uh, quite a while back um, and this no longer works. In fact, in this year, in 2014, it's all changing because Hangouts are the new thing. Um, and so there isn't really a good API as Google tries to lock down other people from doing exactly what I was trying to do, uh, which is really sad because we could, we could have. Look at this, this is so fantastic. There's examples here of checking your inbox or let's see, sending SMS messages with Python. That is freaking sweet. Look at how easy that is. So then it occurred to me, okay, we could probably do this another way. So I kept on looking around and that's when I found this other awesome uh, tool that I want to share with you on GitHub and it is called Text Belt. And this right here is essentially a server that you can run. It just requires that you have um, send mail set up. So, you know, a mail server on your Unix box, right? And this basically is kind of like a, it's, it's written in Node. It's, it's basically a front end that allows you to um, to send text messages to any of the carriers using carrier gateways. So check this out. You can actually do this even without, uh, you know, installing anything on your computer right now uh, by using textbelt.com, which has an instance of this running, and it's super simple. So let's check this out. I'm going to come over to my command prompt, and we're going to do curl, and what is it? We do a post, and then we send some parameters. So the first parameter is going to be number equals, I believe that's the parameter, yes. Oh, we have to give a URL. Here's the URL, it's right here. So we're making a post to that, and I don't know why my clipboard hates me. That's really strange. Uh, so you just send a post, and we're gonna use curl, you could use wget or something like that, but uh, to textbelt.com slash text, you give it tac d, and then the number, what's my phone number? On this SIM card, it is 510-417-0103, okay. And then TAC, uh, TAC D, and then I'm gonna put this in quotes so I can put more than, you know, so I don't have to escape characters, but message equals, hello world, how many cats do you have? Right? And as soon as I send that, 
I get uh, success. You'll either get, oh, and then you hear that beep. I either got success or I get true. And now if I come over to text secure, which is, by the way, like the most fantastic sms -y app if you're going to use your SIM card -y thing, and I wish it worked with Google Voice, but at that point, it would kind of be, I don't know, uh, moot, considering that all of your stuff would have gone through Google anyway. But um, regardless, I now have a text, and I wish that I could show you this more easily. Thank you to, you know, uh, little uh, tangent here. Thank you for everyone that sent feedback from the last week when we were talking about basically mirroring our Android screens without using the USB port. And Chromecast was pointed out to us several times um, because it is supported on many of the Nexus and other anointed Google phones to basically mirror your screen. And I don't know how well this performs with like 3D games, but it mirrors your screen over to a Chromecast, which seems kind of cool. Paul pointed out that this isn't the best solution for our particular thing, and that's kind of a idiosyncrasy of our uh, HD mixer here. It's very particular about uh, 1080i 60 versus 1080p 30 versus whatever. And as far as I know, the Chromecast doesn't allow you to get nitty gritty about those details. Uh, we could fix this with a scaler, and that would also take care of the HDCP issue as well. Um, a scaler is basically a box that uh, you can put anything into, like whether it be composite or HDMI or DVI or VGA or uh, RGB or uh, SCART. SCART? Paul, can we do SCART? Yeah, so anyway, uh, that is an amazing device. It's kind of expensive, um, but it scales all of that up or down and then feeds it out as what you want, in our case, a nice little clean HDMI feed. Um, so yeah, that non sequitur notwithstanding, I now have a text. Depending on the carrier, you may get your text from, in my case, txt2 at textbelt.com, but I see, hello world, how many cats do you have? Problem is, I can't send a reply. Uh, three, I don't have three, I have one. Okay, I shouldn't lie. One. And she's the cutest. Great. So now I told the internet about my cute cat, but the thing is, you'll notice here, we're not getting the response over here. So it's kind of only halfway there. Maybe we could say like, how many cats do you have? Click here to this rando website and tell us. And that would be great for phishing. I guess. Uh, now, I should point out, before you start thinking of crazy uh, fishing expeditions with this, Text Belt does have a limitation, and that is uh, 75 messages per day per IP address. And actually, you can't even like hella spam someone with 75 messages because each phone number is li limited to three texts every three minutes. So you can't do like I may have done way back in the day with a spammy bot to the at, what is it, vtext or verizontext.com, whatever. Anyway, that notwithstanding, this was one of those fun things where I was like, I bet that's possible. And the beauty of hacking is that you can use it to learn all sorts of interesting things. So that was fantastic. We are going to uh, wrap this up here in just a bit. Told you, sorry, it's a short episode. Uh, but first, we need to thank one of our sponsors. Do, 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 do. It doesn't matter whether you have five cats or 500. When that killer idea hits, you need to snag yourself a domain name and web hosting fast. And with Domain.com's quick domain discovery system and their easy checkout process, you'll have your website up and running in no time. I love Domain.com because they're affordable, they're reliable, they're easy to use, plus Domain.com's act to social media presence at Domain.com and their great customer support makes it really a great place to do business. And here's the thing, the guys over at Domain.com Huge fans of Hack5 and they want to hook you up. So if you use the coupon code HAK5 at checkout, you'll get an extra 15% off. So when you think domain names, think domain.com. So that just, oh sorry, wait, that's my domain voice. So that just about wraps up this week's episode of Hack5. But before we get going, I can't wait to invite you all down to the warehouse where we can do excellent cool projects. And we can do that December 6th. So if you are in the Bay Area, if you're familiar with our Bay Area Hacker Brunches, we're having one on December 6th. It's going to start at the Baltic, which is a fantastic place where we can get German pancakes. And then if you'd like, you can stay later for the rave that will be happening here at the Hack5 Warehouse, which will be really fun. I don't know what we're gonna do in between there. Maybe like a drone off, that'd be really cool. Uh, there's a flying field very close to the thing. And maybe you don't know anything about drones. Maybe I'll just bring a dozen drones and we'll just crash them all into each other in between the brunch and the beginning of the rave. 
Um, anyway, if you would like to join us, hack5.org slash brunch is where you can find all of the details and sign up. We do need you to RSVP and we would like to see you at the brunch uh, so that we can vet you and make sure that you aren't a crazy serial killer. That said, for Shannon and I, we would like to thank you for watching. Find us at hack5.org slash follow to find all the social media thingies, as well as hakshop.com to support us directly. And without further ado, until next week, we're reminding you to trust your techno lust. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul.